The creation. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Walking here today, I walked past several of our sleepers sleeping in doorways and in tents. The police already have. Uh, um, have the ability to move our sleepers on under a number of different uh, legislations, between, uh, including the Public Order Act 1986, the Antisocial Behaviour Crime and Policing Act 2014, and the Highways Act 1980, amongst others. Does the Minister understand my concerns that what is suggested in the Criminal Justice Bill criminalises rough sleepers, does not do anything to help them, and the police already have the powers but are failing to use them. Well, the various powers um, that the Honourable Lady lists in the various other pieces of legislation um, are not precisely the same as those drafted in the Criminal Justice Bill. It is worth saying the Criminal Justice Bill does not criminalise rough sleeping in general. It criminalises particular types of rough sleeping when it causes a nuisance. But that said, that said, the government, as I think I've signalled to various honourable members, including actually uh, the honourable member for the two cities uh, privately, the government is willing to look at the way those provisions are drafted to make sure they are tightly and narrowly drawn, because it is our intention that the first stop is always offering support, and it's only as a last resort if rough sleeping causes a serious problem, for example, for businesses, that criminal sanctions are appropriate.